Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to culture Infosuria. So Infosuria is a microorganism which is used as uh, a food for a uh, live food for uh, fish fries mainly uh, betta fish fries uh, or maybe goldfish fries uh, or even guppy fries. So this is very useful uh, in in the first uh, one week of uh, fry stage. So fries uh, will uh, consume infosuria or paramecium during the first one week. So these are normally available in the water uh, in uh, natural surroundings uh, like ponds uh, or rivers. But in this case, uh, as we are uh, breeding the fishes uh, within uh, within indoor or within our aquariums, so we will not find these kind of microorganisms so that they can feed on uh, these microorganisms and uh, they'll grow. I mean, the fish fries will grow further. So let's see how to uh, culture the infosuria. So let's see what all the items required for uh, culturing uh, infosuria. So this can be done uh, at home. So let's see what all the things required. So we need a knife first of all and we need the cabbage. So we need to cut the cabbage leaves uh, using a knife and we need one liter of water and we need some uh, plastic thread and uh, we need a, a vessel made up of steel to boil the water. So let's let us uh, first uh, cut the cabbage. Uh, let's remove the cabbage leaves. So we may need four or five leaves for this. So let's take out the outer layer. Okay, right now I'm taking only four leaves. Okay, I've separated the four leaves. Let's put these leaves uh, into the vessel. Okay, and we can cut this into small pieces. So you need to be very careful, you should not cut your hands using the knife. Okay, that's it. Let's pour the one liter of water into this. Okay, so we are done. With the ingredients and we need to boil this uh, for five minutes I'm boiling this using an induction stove so I've kept a vessel here I'm gonna put a timer for five minutes okay Let's see for some time. Now you can see the water boiling. So this is the condition. So once the water is boiled, so now uh, the water is cooled. Now I've kept it aside. So I'm gonna wrap this. Uh, a vessel with the cotton cloth so I will uh, wrap uh, wrap it around and uh, try to secure so that uh, the mosquitoes should not go inside and lay eggs or any other flies should not uh, go inside and uh, we need to keep this uh, for uh, three to four days so that uh, the info series will form so the idea behind uh, wrapping it around with the cotton cloth is the air passage should be there and uh, uh, some other flies should not go inside and contaminate the water okay so it's ready now so let's wait for uh, three or four days uh, i'm back after uh, four days <clears throat> let's see uh, where whether the infusory have uh, 
good one okay you can see a whitish color so this is infrasuria so we have uh, successfully created a infrasuria culture I'll now separate this uh, infosuria to uh, a glass and let's uh, feed it uh, to some of the goldfish fries which I have. Uh, so I'm gonna feed the infosuria to some of my goldfish fries. So as you can see these are two days old uh, goldfish fries. So I'm gonna generally feed so this is the glass which we have taken so I'm gonna feed uh, them so directly you can feed this water containing infosuria directly to the goldfish so as this water is boiled it may not have any infections or any other bacteria so it will have only infosuria Hope you all have understood uh, how to make infusora culture. So this culture can be maintained for uh, four to five days after making. So you need to add a little little water that's boiled and cooled water should be added to the, this culture and uh, gradually the infusora will be uh, developing in this in this water and you can feed uh, this infusora to guppy fries, goldfish fries, better fries uh, for first uh, seven days from uh, the, the hatching uh, hope you all uh, have uh, liked the video and if you have any doubt regarding this topic please uh, comment uh, in the same video so I will re respond to your comment uh, as and when possible thank you for watching